To start the Township Malice Catalyst Quest, you begin at the beginning of the raid in the Dreadnought. First thing you want to do is head to a plate only a Touch of Malice user can activate for the Catalyst. So you have to have the gun to actually activate it, which is where we're going to go right now. So Gary is the Touch user who got it from the raid, and he's going to be on the plate to activate the mechanic. What happens is when you step on the plate, you get relics to spawn in the arena. As far as I'm aware, they are in random places each time, and they'll be hidden within the arena. Basically, what you want to do is go send one person to each edge or corner of the arena, you know, left, right, top, middle, or whatever directions you want to use, and typically there's one in each area. You need I... to find four relics, and once you do, stand next to them, pick them up all at once, kind of like the encounter here begins, and then you're going to head towards the middle of the Dreadnought, which is where the Court of Works was in D1, and then there will be a statue here dead center, right here. Well, above us, I should say. These symbols are not tied to the touch, FYI. And you're going to dunk all of them right here all at once before the timer runs out. You have about a minute 10, I believe, to dunk all four. And then you're done with this part. For example's sake, here are the four that we're doing right now. So number one is at the literal beginning where you spawn in. The relic is right here on top. It'll only be here, by the way, once you activate that plate that I just mentioned. So if you spawn in and it's not there, that's not why. You have to go get to the plate first, then look up here. So this is number one. Again, it's not static, so it's not guaranteed to be there. And then everybody else is scattered where the other ones are, so I'm going to go over to each one just to show you. So we have Warlord over here, who has one. It's right up against the end of the wall, right over there. Literally just walk to the end wall, and it'll be up there in the air. It's not very hidden or anything. Once you get to the end, you'll see it. Then the other two are hidden over on this side. So we'll have one over here. That'll be kind of in this little cave hallway. It's just in the air. That's it. Like, literally just in the air. And the other one is over here in this hallway right here. So, two in this section. And there you go. You're going to pick up all these all together. And then you're going to take them to the middle over here. So, we're going to do that right now. Oh, one more thing. Shrieker spawn. You got to kill them. Forgot to mention that. Can we drop these things? Yeah. Okay. Oh, by the way, very important thing. I forgot to mention, there are Shriekers that spawn. That's fine. So, yeah, 40 seconds left. Yeah, should be fine. You just dunk together and you're good. Go. Nope. Three, two, Three. one, go. Yep. And that's it. That's yep. part one. For your next portion for the Touch Catalyst, you're going to be in Golgroth's Maze. Now, the maze itself has not changed whatsoever since Destiny 1. It is exactly the same. What you're going to do in this maze is go to the chest locations that you normally would, or the rather the plates to open the chest. This is going to be making the whole thing easy, honestly. So I'm going to bring up a map that is exactly the same as Destiny 1. Feel free to just pause the video and look at this. I'll also put this in the description. So essentially what you're going to want to do here is that you're going to send people to these plate locations to uh, activate them one by one for the code, as you can see right here. So this is the entrance, and then this is the exit, of course, the Golgoroth. You're going to want people to stand on these plates in the particular order, which opens the chest in the middle, which will open the next plate for the Touch Catalyst because the plate is in there with the chest. So you're going to have one person here, 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 and here. And then, as with the previous encounter in the Hall of Souls, you're going to have relics pop up randomly within this area for you to collect, and then you're going to gather them and then take them to this hole. No, 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 like seriously, you're going to take them into the hole. You'll see. So just have your teammates designated and coordinated into these corners. I'm not going to show you guys how to get to each corner because we're, we're going to be here for like 30 minutes. But use this map. It's very easy, very simple. Just split everybody up. And then the maze, in case you didn't know, like I said, is exactly the same as Destiny 1. So you just go right, left, left, right to get the Golgoroth. Use that pathing to know where you are and then head to the correct location. So I'm going to skip a little bit towards the end here. So once you open up the chest room, the door is going to fall down and this is what it looks like. So this is the chest. There you go plate literally right next to the chest touch user steps on it activates the plate relics will spawn on the arena and now you're on basically another hunt what you want to do is just have one person stay here so you know exactly where they are so you know how to get to them so you don't get lost and everybody else scatters to find the four relics so now where do you take the relics from this chest room looking straight when you can see the plate and the chest you're going to walk straight the doors are going to be open again jump over this hole keep going forward towards Golgoroth and then the next plate you see that's a little crooked, not directly in front of you, right here. There's a damn statue in this hole. 
I wonder how many people completely missed this, because I know a lot of people did. But yeah, you fall in here with all the relic people, and then you dunk in here, same as the first time, and bam, you're done. So your final relic uh, rotation, if you want to call it that, is in the Wall of Phallic Shapes for the Basilic Core, which is in Uganda over there on the right side. So I'm going to show you guys the play in a second, but I just wanted to show you a little highlight reel of the gymnastics that you have to go through with these relics in order to uh, get to the end goal. So believe it or not, people miss this plate. There's the end, there's the third normal plate that you would take to build the bridges, and uh, people miss this plate, including my team. That, yeah, no comment. So this is the plate where you begin. You need touch, of course, to get on it, make the relic spawn. I don't have touch, but this is where you get on. And then you take it all the way to the court I just showed it to you. Also, you can relic skate, which I'll show you in a second. Go. Trigger up here. Dead. Trigger by Pest here. Somebody is going to have to kill that. Alright, and this is uh, Relic Skating. I don't know if you want to call it skating, but... Also, you can Icarus Dash. But yeah, you Fuck just skater. like Fuck wall him. climb with this thing all the way across as far as you want. Just have to look out for these uh, <clears throat> phallic objects. Let's call them that. And then, uh, pretty much, yeah, you could obviously just jump normally if oh. you'd like. That's totally fine. But this is the general idea if you don't have sword ammo, which most people won't because they probably use all their heavy on Golgoroth. Or most of it. And then all you gotta do is just getting to the end, pretty much, and uh, not getting hit by this final... Uh, I, I ran out of funny words to call it. What's going on you, you over there, Randall? Saying. Died. I'm back. Alright, we are at one. the end. Um, so that's weird. one full rotation that, that yeah, you would do and, reset. you know, have your teammates make it here as well. So, here's that! Alright, so finally, we are at the basketball court. We dunk correctly, you go into this doorway, and welcome to Space Jam. So this room is pretty simple. You grab a relic, then you use the lifts to get up to that thing. So you take your balls, and then you fly your balls into the other balls, and then you dunk your balls, and then you're done. As a as a group collective, once everybody's ready. So hopefully everybody's there. And then we go... Uh, okay, I was going to say 3, 2, 1, but uh, okay. Oh, I think you should get the most points. Oh go. My We're not playing fucking NBA Jam. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. Okay. Somebody fucked it up. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh my god. Come on, it's time. Man. Welcome to the. I'm not gonna finish that DMCA. <laughs> Dude, I'm stuck. Who back right? Anybody back right? Blue is trying. Three, two, one, yeet. Yagi, please. Nope, we didn't yagi. Nope. Uh... Is everybody ready? Three, two, one, ya yeet. Oh, you yeet your yeet last oh, haw. Fuck. You yeet your last haw. And there you have it. The player will get the Touch of Malice Catalyst, and then, you know, generic, go get 800 million kills at Trochi. And you're done. There you go. Hope this helps. Also, Touch of Malice itself is RNG, in case that wasn't uh, clear beforehand. The gun itself, which you get at Oryx. So that's it. Hopefully this video helps, explains everything. Catch you guys in the next video, and uh, like, share, subscribe, all that nonsense. Also, show me the on Twitch, link in the description. Like the video, and the notification.